Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. Gonna take a look at some customs today, and uh, first up, uh, <laughs> I remember this one very well. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna admit it. The influence is like you know movies like Black Belt Jones and stuff like that, and I just uh, cobbled together with Heavy Duty's head. Um, this is another Jade Dragon Guard, an early one, obviously, and uh, yeah, this was a. Uh, yeah, sort of cobbled together, um, you know, he grew up in China and uh, joined the Jade Dragon Guard. Uh, speaks fluent Mandarin, by the way. I uh, thought that was kind of cool. Too perfect? Nah, but, you know. I mean, it, it is cobbled together, so there you are. Okay, so this is... Oh, I always forget her name. She was in an episode... There was a submarine. She was a, a female... I think she was a female officer in Cobra. And I cannot remember the name of Simulai. But anyway, that was, this was my attempt at her. This was a really crappy Baroness figure that I just decided to switch the head on. And I did a little bit of painting on it. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. Uh, I, I'll freely admit it sucks. But, uh, you know, I'm also not fully hubris and think my work is superb or anything, right? Okay, and this is another uh, Jade Dragon Guard. Um, I see the Firefly torso here. That head came from a corpse figure. And I don't know where the arms and legs in the midsection come from. But, anyway, uh, this one is, uh, you know, their uh, Mariner. Uh, I'm almost certain I took the word Mariner and uh, uh, translated it into Vietnamese or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was Vietnamese. Um, just tried to get some variety going in this team again you know cobra is not that big a threat they're only a little terrorist organization and you know I, I always had them as a big threat and you know i mean when you try to rule the world you're going to be a big threat and uh you know asia put together a team to combat them and you know like i said it got shot down all right whatever but again uh before i uh Realized, you know, I needed to put green and all uniformity in all of these guys. I mean, this was very early. I think this was the second custom I put together uh, for the uh, J Dragon Guard. Okay, and actually, this was a Joe operative. I used that um, V2 Firefly head. Now, that isn't the black um, version, I don't think. I think I actually painted that. Um, and I want to say I had him as a vehicle driver. I couldn't can't remember what vehicle he drove though to be perfectly honest i um just kind of put him it, this was a cobble together job i didn't do much painting except on the head um but i think i'm not quite sure where all these parts came from but yeah i put them together and then um you know i just needed a head i, re I was reaching in the box and then the, that firefly head uh it was um it was a fairly beat up figure a uh, lot, lot of, lot of paint scuff, um, especially on the mask. So uh, painting it wasn't too bad of a thing. Uh, really helped it out. And this figure was another kind of eh, generic kung fu ninja kind of thing. Um, I, I seem to remember this being a cobbling of parts too. It was just like. Huh, what can we put with what and how and it was just it, it was random what was put together with this figure and yeah i can admit i really didn't like the results too much so um you know he's one of those that um he also fell out of the box i'm pretty sure um and you know, that white paint didn't stick too well anyway uh, he's got a lot of chips, too. I mean, again, I just didn't think much of it. Even after I did, I was just like, well, that's kind of there, ain't it? Uh, eh. You know, some of these come out that way. I mean, that's what happens, but yeah. All right, that'll wrap up uh, this episode of uh, Customs on the Run. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Infinite Realms. You have a good day.